Hello guys and welcome back to second round division one semi-finals between two balls and takeover. First round went for two balls, they played aliens, now they're playing marines. With Teachem as commander. The last match so far I shoutcasted for um two balls was Chiriki was commanding. Peach is now back, guys. If you know Peach, he's he's a legend among among the commanders out there in ESL. And he had a little bit long break and I Think I'm not sure if if he's a bit rusty in there, but it's still the same old Peach, and he's able to do to perform the most awesome things. In case he has a good team, and he has a good team, and we have a look on the pressure team and on no setup on aliens. Aliens got sub sector hive. They went for cargo and overlook instead for cargo and double. Might be risky because overlook is close to marine so He can be there pretty fast. But on the other hand, Overlook is close to the hive, so you can defend it pretty easy in case you're not dying too fast. And AA is trying to get that scout behind the pipe. No, he's going back for backup. This, oh, he should. Maybe he should have stayed by his fellow Marines there, crying for backup, and was too much distracted by that one skulk. And so we have a look on those two Marines of West Junction. They're sent out for capping mission in the beginning, and yeah, once you build West Island and Peach tells them the hive is subsector, now what's he gonna do? He's sending them to system. Maybe going for double, but double is empty. Now they're going back to Overlook. As Peach and Privach notice, there is an out, and he's gonna take it down. There are four Marines going for that little out and Overlook. Might be a little bit much of overkill there. Four Marines. Okay, so he's not capping a loads of rest there on the east side. It's just one marine and one marine is easy to kill. But the Lurk is still here, Chrissy heads up. Trying to gas all those marines and I think that the note is gonna go down. It's still... No, one marine died. A is down, but the note is down. Yeah, too many bullets into it. And still three marines alive, one marine falling back. No, just stick together. Yeah, what should the little skulk in the van do? Nothing! Go to West Skylights by the note, don't just go down and die. And that lurk just keeps gassing, that's his job. Keep the calm wasting rest on med packs. That's something two bolts didn't do, they didn't went for a lurk, they just went straight for two fades and it paid off. Takeover is going for lurk. And it's King Yo. You all know King Yo, he is really crazy on those gas spamming. And he also can do solo those marines in the admiral line, but he's pretty much focusing on just gas gassing those marines. And many people really hate it a lot. I hate it too. And there's one reason: you cannot move forward, you cannot move backward. Just your whole screen is screen permanently when King Yu is around. He's performing a good job on that. Now the pressure team is in cargo. They took down a note, and I missed it. Shamefully, I'm sorry. They are moving to double now, and this is quite a lot of rest now for Peach. Although those rests started a little bit late, as the notes and pipe went down, went up. A moment, no, it's not late. Okay, good rest capping so far for Marines then, and still one note in left. What's the guard? The guard? The guard just down? Oh my God! You pure little guard! Oh, how can you be so rude? To the you can see the lurk is really slow. Maybe more mats? One knife? Oh no! No lurk knife. Unfortunately. There's something you really like is to knife lurk. But no can do. King here is not that bad to get knife. Now we have AA, shotgunner, Yugi, oh. and overlooked. And one down. The shotgun is left. I wanna keep track on them. One, two, three skulks coming for him. Doogie, what are you gonna do? Dying. So sad, so sad. But you wouldn't really expect more if there are three skulks in the lurk. The shotgun must be case aside. And King Yo is going more aggressive, I have to feel it, than I see him usually. Just, not just sitting in the back in the vents, he's also going for the kill. But he never forgets his mission. 
And he knows the Marines will probably come back because this is the only Northern Overlook. They have to defend it and, and Peach will go for it, take it down. But, but one Marine there's no can do. That's already a longer system. Because there's gonna be a really strong defense there around. And we have the fade up in East Junction. It is Frankie. Frankie is a good fade. He's fading a lot, especially for this team. He's a standard fade for takeover. And he's gonna go for the cappers. As long as there are no alien screams for backup overload, people go to go there around cargo, and he almost died there on that mine. 40 HP, this is close, this is close. Yeah, this is a long way back home. This is one of the reasons why, why you want to have mov movement chambers in those vans, especially in cargo. This is a really, really good movement chamber if you have SAP or Ether Pipeline Hive. And of course, another good chamber spots are C12 vent and under double. And the Fate is going to base. Not gonna do hurt. But um, the base harassment for Fates is easier when you have sub hive because going back for heal is much closer. And we have two Fates up right now. They skip the hive. Yes, they had to skip the hive because Marines are present in cargo. And Peach went for the face gate in the dome. Most commanders go for face gate in power four. And the second one in cargo instead, but um, he's going for just one face gate and trying to hold both positions from this one face gate. The pro is you have only one face gate. You never want to have too many face gates. Um, anytime aliens are putting lots of pressure, especially with two hives or something, and you're forced to face back and forth, back and forth, this is kind of annoying. You always have to look at the minimum. And this fate was really low, I think. Couldn't catch on his HP. But this poor little Gorgie will die. Yeah. No chance. Poor Gorgies. Shotguns down. Nice job, Fana. Yeah. What's in sky? But Freggy is back. Kept the shotgun. Will he do it? How's what is my doing? Oh no, he shouldn't go run straight to the Marine. Usually you just if you know there's a Marine coming for the shotgun, you just wait around the corner. In exactly the moment a Marine picks up the shotgun, he cannot shoot for like one or two seconds. This is the perfect timing to run in and take down the Marine. Marines will almost never wait, will just run straight for the gun before it disappears. And this is like calculated, this is, you know exactly what you can do. Whoa! Minesweeper! Are you playing Minesweeper? How low is that fade? I wanna see it. Over 100 HP, I cannot believe it. I felt it was like 1 HP left. I don't know how many mines went down there, but it was a, like a big kaboom. And aliens still cannot claim cargo for themselves, but they have five nodes up now. This is good, pressing the good play now by aliens, holding all those nodes alive. Oh, look. After the recap, that never went down again. And now they got we even West Skylights has dropped. They're dropping West Skylights. This is so close to base, this is so easy to take down. But of course, if your marines are distracted because um, you have higher goals, like double.